So, I guess you're looking for a nice warm dinner on a cold night. Well, we've got that. And why are we in this beautiful kitchen instead of the 60s fabulous kitchen that we <laughs> normally um, film in? All that and more right after this. Hey guys, so it's Brent Bork, your Acadian agent with Jeff, my assistant. And uh, today, yes, we are in a different kitchen. We are in a good friend of ours kitchen. We've been running around a lot, so we don't have much time at home and we're actually staying in Baton Rouge. So one of our friends was actually very gracious to let her, us use her kitchen. So uh, thanks, Kim. I really appreciate that. Hats off to you. To your help. Um, so we're going to be doing the Easy Chicken Pot Pie Casserole. This is the second one for December because it's the 2019 um, recipe book. So if you haven't gotten the recipe book yet, definitely uh, send a message to me through Facebook. I can definitely send one to you and um, we can go from there. So we are doing the Easy Chicken Pot Pie Casserole. So this is a great uh, recipe for something that is a cold night which is perfect for around this time of year. So as usual, we're gonna go through the ingredients and then we're gonna go ahead and show you how to cook. So the first thing we have is half a cup of mayo, two tablespoons of flour, a teaspoon of chicken bouillon granules, a half teaspoon of pepper, three quarters of a cup of milk, a 10 ounce bag of mixed veggies thawed, a one and a half cup cubed chicken, uh, cu cooked chicken breast or a rotisserie chicken. We opted for the rotisserie chicken because it's just a lot easier. So easy, just going to the store and picking up the chicken that's already been cooked and exactly. Wow. Well, um, and a one eight ounce tube of refrigerated crescent rolls. Um, so the first thing we want to do is uh, preheat our oven for three hundred and seventy five degrees. So we've got that going. <laughs> And Jeff's going to kind of take it from there. All right. So what we're going to do first is to grab the first four ingredients that were read off by Brent. And we're going to go ahead and get your pan ready. So what I'm doing is mixing these first four ingredients. You've got your mayo. You've got your chicken bouillon. You've got your flour. And then you've got your pepper. And we're just gonna get all this out there and with our whisk, kind of mix everything together. like a paste that we're trying to get smooth. Just make sure my heat's not too high. Now while you're getting this mixed all together and all smooth, We're going to gradually stir in the milk. And that's all your milk. Now, depending on your taste buds, you could always throw a little extra hot pepper, hot sauce, Louisiana hot sauce, or whatever satisfy your palate, because this is going to get mixed up with all the other ingredients that we're going to put with the casserole. Okay, so once you've got it all smooth, You're going to let this cook and keep stirring it for about two minutes until it becomes a little bit thicker. 
All right, guys, so while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start setting up the, the veggies and the chicken, getting it ready to go on the fire. So basically, I'm just going to mix everything together. seasoning to the recipe and a little bit of cayenne pepper to give it that little push so but of course if people are sensitive to spice do what you want so we're going to go ahead and add everything to this mixture and stir together really well so that everything will be blended together Once everything is good and blended, I'm going to add a little more of my local seasoning to the mixture. Just so that there's a little more flavor. Alright guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and spread the mixture out in the pan. sure it's really nice and flat because you're going to basically be um, unrolling the crescent rolls to put on top. Arrange the crust, sorry, arrange, not the average. So arrange the crescent rolls over the chicken mixture in the baking dish. actually got some friends that joined us it smells delicious we would like to see the little creamier um, you could also add some a little bit more milk or if you want to do some half and half which is what Kim actually suggested by the way this is Kim this is the person who actually was gracious enough to give us her kitchen for the um, for the evening to actually do the video so we want to thank her thank you, Kim. oh yeah definitely so we're gonna go ahead and dive into this and see how it tastes so honest opinion everybody Mm. 
definitely hearty. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Definitely a good cold weather mm -hmm. recipe. Yes. Yummy. Chicken pot pie. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan. Okay. So this is a good one. This one's definitely a keeper. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to do this one again in the future. Um, so this is one that we're going to hold on to. Mm. And again, you want to throw some more spice in it, go for it. Um, you want to keep a little side uh, bottle of Louisiana hot sauce as you eat it, knock yourself out. Oh yeah, definitely do it as to taste for y'all. Mm -hmm. So everyone, from our family to yours, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And see.